We're here at IFA with Sony's QX10 and QX100 lens cameras. What's a lens camera, you might ask? Well, a lens camera is essentially a compact camera's specs and photo taking abilities crammed inside a single lens, which you can then connect to a phone via Wi Fi or NFC. We're going to take a look at these products. Crucially, the QX10 and QX100 are compatible with both iPhone and Android phones. All you need to do is download Sony's Play Memories app from a relevant app store, and then you can get snapping straight away, so long as you connect the camera to your phone using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. It's quite a simple process. I've done it myself, and all you need to do to actually physically connect the camera to the phone is use this little mount, which is connected to it, and that feels pretty sturdy, even if it is a little bit top-heavy at the top where the lens is. Priced around the £200 mark, the QX10 lens is the cheaper of the two lenses, and that means basically it's the one you're more likely to buy as a stocking filler over Christmas. It's got a 10 times zoom and an 18 megapixel sensor, which means it's more suited to people who just want to take a quick snap of a memory and then leave, rather than someone who's going to want to perhaps frame it up on your wall. The QX100 is the more expensive of the two lens cameras, and basically what that means is it's targeted at someone who perhaps would rather chuck this in their bag in a more compact guise than, for example, a DSLR camera. It's the equivalent of Sony's compact RX100 Mark II camera, and essentially what that means is it's got a 20.2 megapixel sensor and a wider aperture, so it's going to give better quality photos than the QX10, especially in low light. So that's Sony's QX10 lens camera and the QX100 lens camera. I quite like them both, especially because they connect to not just Sony phones. They'll work with your iPhone or any compatible Android handset. You just have to download the relevant app. Whether they're taken as more of a novelty Christmas present or something that's going to have any staying power is up for debate. I personally quite like them and prefer to take one of these around with me than a compact camera. I'll certainly be looking forward to results when we get them into our test lab.